Hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial about the basics of proofing in Positron. Before you get started, there's a few things that you should know, and we have other videos specifically about this. If you don't know if your script is ready, if you don't know if your audio is ready, go back to that other tutorial because that's what you have to have before you get started. Once you have the script ready, once you have the audio ready, and you upload the script to create a project, generally it's a good idea to try to do a one chapter upload test. So the first chapter that you're going to proof, put that into Positron and this will help you check for ligature issues and give you immediate feedback if something doesn't seem right about the script or the audio. If you do need help, email help at Positron.com and we will answer you right away. Now, the chapter page. On the chapter page, you will find out that you have the ability to organize your files, the ability to archive your files, estimate your project times, and change project details and info. And we'll see what that looks like real quick. So this is your project page, and we're going to specifically look at this one right here, the demo for resetting. So this is the chapter page, and you can see that using these three lines here, you can drag and reorganize your files after you upload them. And you can archive individual files by clicking the three dots and saying archive chapter. And you'll see after you archive something, this little red button shows up over here and you can recover anything that you've archived. So before you even start proofing, knowing that you have these options to reorganize your files, to archive your files and bring them back, and then also to check your estimates. So as soon as you upload your script, the estimator is going to read how many words are in there and give you a estimate of how long it'll take to narrate, how long it'll take to proof and edit. These are in beta but it's a neat tool to get you started as far as estimating how long things are going to take. And then finally, you can edit project info by clicking edit details with tracking numbers for ISBN, customers, due dates, status, and notes. So before you get started proofing, realize that those are possibilities and that'll help you with your efficiency in the long run. Now, actually getting into the proofing. You have to know what annotations are, the difference between generated and custom annotations, and the four styles of annotation are going to be the bookends, the pauses, the misreads, and the noises. And you need to know what each of the annotation buttons do. There's an OK button, a pickup button, a typo button, a filter out button, and a long pause button. And you can also, for each annotation, create custom tags and descriptions. There are two basic ways to approach a Positron proofing project. One is to do a full proof. The other is to do a spot check. In a full proof, you're going to be listening in real time from the front to the back of every single chapter, and you will agree or disagree with all of the editorial things that Positron can come up with, which are the added or missing words, uh, inverted words or phrases, clear mispronunciations, long pauses, and noises. And then with the full proof, you also listen for directorial things. So you're listening for things that a machine can't hear, like the difference between saying a sentence as a statement or a question. Positron doesn't know that. When you do a full proof, you can create a custom note for all of those directorial things. And the notes that you make are on the final report, just the same as the um, automatically generated ones. And so the full proof is front to back with everything. And the spot check is just going through what Positron has highlighted as something to listen for and deciding whether or not that's a misread or something that needs to be fixed. A spot check would be more along the line of a spelling and grammar check for a document that you're working on, just looking for the underlying things and deciding what to do with them. And a full proof on a document would be like a full edit kind of as an analogy. Now, inside this noise detection demo chapter, we're going to look at all of those things. So it's a two minute and one second chapter. 
and there are 12 things to listen to, 12 things that are annotations. So inside, the annotation column is over here on the left, and the transcription is in the middle. Now, bookends, you'll see at the beginning and end of every chapter that you have, it'll say, please check that the audio starts at the beginning. And then at the very end, it'll say, please check that the end of the chapter was detected correctly. So those are your bookend annotations. Sometimes the narrator will forget chapter titles. It happens really regularly. And since Positron doesn't listen to before or after the audio is, it has no way of judging that. You have to know, is this particular um, statement right here in gray supposed to be said by the narrator or not? Because you can click here. This is the beginning of where the narration starts. Version 2. Positron. So is version 2 where this chapter is supposed to start? And you can look at the original PDF. And there it is. Version 2. So yes, that is correct. So in this bookend that you can say, okay. All expected audio and text is present, no errors. And the same thing for the very end. At the end of this, people love to listen to. Is that the version end of the two? If so, then you'll say, okay. So that's how you work with the bookend annotations. Now, these next ones are going to give you a timestamp and what the or what the pickup is that Positron found and then an option of what to do with it. So in this case, at 42 seconds in, narration, including words accidentally added into the... So that was the word was inserted accidentally, and that is a pickup. So that's when you click the pickup button. And then this next one is at 48 seconds in from the script. Of course, it so the narrator in this case missed that should be narrated. So that's a pickup. And then the next one at 50 seconds. Of course, it will find misperceptions and miss. So misperceptions should be mispronunciations. That's a pickup. And then this next one pauses longer than two seconds. Noises. Definitely too long of a pause. And so Positron is telling you that at 50 seconds, 58 seconds in, there's a pause that's 2.4 seconds. If that is too long and needs to get edited, you'll click the long pause button. What filter out does, if there is a word that a narrator is saying it, that is correct and Positron keeps saying that it's wrong, sometimes place names or people's names will do that. When you click filter out a few times, all of those similar annotations will go through and Positron will collapse all of them so you don't have to keep saying that that's okay. In this case, filter out works differently for noises than for the other types. So we're going to go down here. Lifts the quality of the proofing and QC process to... Now notice that the narrator says QC just fine. It hears Uzi. So this is one of those times that you'll say, okay, that's just something that Positron didn't pick up exactly accurately. Now, if I said QC a whole bunch of times and Positron keeps thinking I'm saying Uzi, I could say filter out and it would go through the whole book and say that those are all okay. In this case, we'll just say okay there. And here's another one at a minute 35, discrepancies in the narration, and it allows proof. So it should be also, that's a pickup, but if you're doing a project where word perfect isn't necessary, you can also click okay. So what you're doing with all of these annotations on the left is these are eventually all gonna be on the pickup report. So we'll look at these last couple noise detected noises including audio distortion so you hear that quick clip in audio distortion so that's going to be a pickup and then in beta right now are uh non-verbal uh noise detection so noises like a dog barking that's a pickup or a fire truck siren and that's a pickup so now you've gone through and worked through all of these annotations. So this is the core of the Positron proofing process. In each chapter, you'll either do the spot check or listen top to bottom like this. And for the directorial things, so these are all the auto-generated annotations. But for example, if the narrator said, instead focusing on dialogue, dialect, and performance, and made it a question, that's obviously something that will have to be re-recorded. So in that case, all you do is highlight, click the button, 
and say you can add whatever custom tags you want um, or you can just put it in the description sounds like a question should be a statement and we have a list of the custom tags that you can add you see character voice enunciation fixable high level things like that and so you can pick any of these tags that you want just for your own reference you'll see that the positron generated annotations are underlined in red and the custom annotations are underlined in yellow if there is a typo in here anywhere um, for example and you can always click out of these so if this QC should have been something else and it was a typo you can click typo and now it underlines it in green and it will put typos on a different part of the positron pickup packet so you can send that back to the rights holder if they want to fix the script so that's the very core of Positron's proofing capabilities just on a single chapter.